So, Steve, it must be about a year ago since we, uh, since we started the response time campaign. Tell us what's happening. Well, we've been negotiating for 12 months with the government and Ambulance Victoria on a new enterprise agreement or collective agreement. Unfortunately, we've had 30 meetings that hasn't <laughs> resolved with any outcome. And if anything, we're, we're poles apart. And uh, we're very disappointed in that, that some of the major items that paramedics need to have resolved are not being resolved. Two of the key issues are 10-hour rest breaks, and that's to address some of the serious fatigue issues we have in the industry. And that's just been flatly refused by the government. We just can't understand that when you have all the expert evidence says, that says eight hours is far too short. Uh, and the other thing is that we just want fair pay and conditions for ambulance paramedics and we want their pay aligned with nurses and other health professionals. We're not asking any more than that, that we want them regarded similar to nurses and other health professionals. They do very similar roles and we just want their pay aligned with those other professions. The employers are being sort of pulled by the, by the governments? Oh, I think the employers have been tightly controlled by the government. I don't believe that they've been allowed to negotiate fairly. Um, you know, um, they have not been able to have any meaningful discussions with the union without the government involvement, direct involvement from officials of DHS, and I think that's been very unfortunate. Historically, our negotiations have worked very well with the with previous ambulance employers and uh, even with government involvement, but this round has been completely different. Did they, they wait for you to threaten industrial action before they'll actually talk to you? It appears that what they've tried to do is to drag it out and frustrate us as much as possible. And then obviously by that frustration, knowing that ambulance paramedics are left with no choice but to resort to industrial action, there's nothing else that they can do. Um, they're of the belief that ambulance paramedics will not strike and stop work. And generally speaking, historically, they haven't. Um, but it's getting so serious nowadays in this industry that they're fed up. And they're fed up with the attitude that's coming out of the government towards them. And they are prepared to down tools. And that's what will happen if this action ballot gets up.